since we're in the midst of this uh, coronavirus situation, I felt it extremely necessary and important for Asiatics and the children of Israel to really get a clear understanding about what's going on. There's a lot of ideas about, well, this is happening because man created the virus in the laboratory uh, and, and God had nothing to do with it because man created this. Let me tell you something. Man ain't create nothing without the creator allowing man to create the thing, giving him the ideas and the uh, um, tools with which to create a particular thing. So don't be mistaken. Don't be deceived by men telling you that it was created in a, in a laboratory, I could show you where God said he was going to use the earth to destroy this man. So anything in the earth can be used by God to destroy the man. So what you think? God going to actually come and, 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 and show himself and pick this stuff up and, and, and go in a laboratory and create the thing or show you how he did the thing? God always uses man or some other spirit for the lack of a better term, to create the things that God wants to create. He always operates through his spirit. He's not doing any work. Currently, he's not doing any work anyway. I, I clearly expressed that in one of my previous videos. But, but anyway, without further ado, I wanted to show a few things that's going on as far as this uh, coronavirus is concerned and, and show you the... Uh, the truth and the definition of particular things are concerned. Now I enlisted my sister Yafa Bay to uh, help with this process, and she's making some very important statements. and And here's one of them: You're being treated the same by all these Europeans. They're all the same little family that's dying off, and they are not going to continue to live unless we keep letting them continue to live. And they will continue to live as long as we keep calling on them to save us, because we keep calling on Jesus, Zeus. The Pope. Okay, now what was I going with? All right, so that should be clear. Uh, she talked about in other parts of this video, Asiatics are superconductors with melanin and this and that and that. In order to, for the Europeans' world to, to, to be manifest, they have to run it through the Asiatics and that type of thing. I'm not going through all of that right now. I just want to show you particular points about this. Because when you look at what's going on with the coronavirus, it's the Europeans that's being drastically affected by this thing. So when you look at them being uh, dying off, and this would have happened long ago if it wasn't for Asiatics always trying to keep Master's house from burning down. You know, they used to have a song that said, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need the water. Let the MF burn. But Asiatics are always trying to put out, well, Massa, our house is on fire. Massa, we got to put this fire and, and, and save our house. See, Negroes, blacks and colors, always want to save Massa's house. They don't, they don't want the party to end until they get their piece of the pie. You know, they want their BMW in the driveway and their... Uh, you know, house up on the hill and a white picket fence and all this nonsense that they program you to think is the American dream, right? But the American dream is exactly that. It's a dream. And this dream is being made manifest by Asiatics. There's some other things I want to deal with you on. And this, the, main, the main point about this particular uh, presentation, if you will, is uh, dealing with the fact about the generations of Adam, which I dealt with in some of my previous videos. And uh, this is in, can be found in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 2, where it says male and female. Hold on a second. Now you should be able to see it. Where it says male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created, right? He said, this is the book of the generations of Adam. So we need to find out who this Adam is. 
because it's time of the generations of Adam and the day that God created man. So this is basically saying that man and Adam is the same one. Okay. So uh, Sister Yafa Bay is going to help express some of this. Check it out. This point. Somebody asked me to go click. Adam. 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 Is anybody there? Yes. yes. What number is the word Adam? Three. Three. It's on the far right. That's exactly right. Turn to the turn through the pages until you get to the Hebrew dictionary of the concordance. Not the regular Bible. The Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. And you'll know because you'll get past, you'll be past this list of words in alphabetical order. And then you'll get to all the words that are in numeric order under Hebrew, and you'll know they're Hebrew because the numbers will not be italicized. Once you get to the numbered words that are not italicized, turn to word 120. Because these brothers that tell my sisters that you're the man, I'm the man, you're a woman, you came from my rib, I'm Adam. Adam came first, you came from me. First of all, I don't know any man on earth that spit any woman from his rib, unless they're talking about the one in the crotch area. And Adam... Okay, this is what she's uh, directing the class to look up. In Strong's Con Concordance, which I have on the screen, she's looking at word number 120, which is Adam. All right? And then it's talking about Adam is man, comma, mankind. And that's exactly correct. Okay? But uh, Sister Yaffa, she errs in some of the things that she says. Uh, in this presentation, but the most part, for the most part, she's correct. But Adam is man and mankind. Okay, now we're going to find out who Adam is. Adam, by definition, did not come first. Mm. Oh. Eve came first. <laughs> who found word 120? Read to me what word 120 says, sister in the back with the glasses, and try to say it loud so it can be on the, on the tape. Okay, Adam. From 119, Rudy, a human being. Ruddy. 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 A human being. A human being. All right, let's find. They, they're talking about Adam being ruddy. Ruddy means red. Here we go right here. Strong's exhaustive concordance. Ruddy. A human being, okay? An individual or the species mankind. Stop. Adam is ruddy. He is a human being from the species mankind. Okay. From the species, an individual or the species mankind. So that is Adam. All right? That's what they're talking about. All right. We are not ruddy. We're not human beings. And we're not... Oh, let me add this. They're talking about the fact that Asiatics are not ruddy. Ruddy is a term that means red. Okay? Just for clarification. Mankind. That's why when Neil Armstrong is supposed to have stepped foot on the moon and said, this is a small step for man and a giant leap for mankind. He's talking about two totally different species. You're man. They're a kind of man. They're mankind. You're not mankind. You're not of mankind. You're not from mankind. This is where she airs at. Um, Adam, as we read right up here, Adam is man, comma, mankind. 
Adam is man, mankind. Asiatics, Moors, and the like are not man. And I'm going to show you this, but I want to uh, let her finish her presentation. Mankind, don't let anybody twist you up with that. And I'm going to show you how. Keep going, sis. Uh, etc. And then it says there's a, uh, a semicolon and it says times another plus hypocrite. Adam is a hypocrite plus common sort. Adam is a common sort. And then there's an ex low, low man. He's a low man. And then in parenthesis has mean. He's a mean person. Low man. Of low degree. Mean. Of low degree. Of low degree. That's Adam. It comes from word number 119. Look up 119, and this time I want a brother to read that to me. 119. I'll read it. Adam. Hello, brother. Speak up. Adam, up. same thing. Show blood in face. Shows blood in the face. Mm. All right, they're saying that. Flush. Like they're it saying. It gets Show Say blood in the face. Uh, flush or right turn there. rosy. He turns rosy. Be dyed Turn or rose. made red. He gets dyed and made red. Who the hell is that? <laughs> that is that, that is made that red. is the original Ready. See? Black That's what man. ready means. Red. Right. Bleach. So <laughs> this is the cracking up. Adam is a low man, a mean person, a hypocrite. Common sort of low degree that turns red, gets flushed, turns rosy, and shows blood in the face. So it's clear to see who Adam is. So when you see who Adam is, you can see who man is. I tell people all the time, I am not man because I know who man is. I can show you a lot of other things, but I don't think this is the time of the place for it. I can show you a lot of other things outside of the Bible to, to show you the, uh, the condition that we find ourselves in today and why this coronavirus is doing what it's doing to us, or uh, should I say, to man. Because man is the one that... Uh, came out of Shem, Ham, and, and Japheth and created the Gentile nations and so forth and so on. Like I, talk about, like I talked about in some of my previous videos. But the point being is that man is the one that was made by us. So Adam was made by us. There's some talk about, I think they might even mention it in this video uh, with Yaffa, about the pre-Adamites. The pre-Adamites were the ones that inhabited the earth prior to Adam or prior to man. These are the ones that made man in God's own image and God's own likeness, like discussed before. The creator does not have an image. The spirit being doesn't have a fleshly image. An uh, image is something that light has to bounce off of to make a reflection. So, who in here is Adam? Not Adam. Not Adam. Not me. Yes, <laughs> they do speak of the pre-Adamites before Adam. That's man. And Adam is a human. The pre-Adamites is not man. She's got her terms mixed up because she doesn't understand. What she understands, she'll tell you. Some things she understands and other things she don't. But this is one of the things that she, that she doesn't understand is the difference between man and the sons of God. Okay, you'd have to watch if if you haven't watched my previous videos, go check them out and I'll clearly explain that there are sons of God. All right? And these I believe are the pre, uh, are what people refer to as the pre-Adamites. Human being of the species mankind. So when they're on television now, 
talking about human beings and mankind, you know they're not talking about you. Okay. So this is some of the points that I may, I've been making for for over a decade. You know, we we need to understand all of the different species that's on the earth, and you have man, mankind, the sons of God, and human. Now, in the Bible, you have to understand. Go do the research for yourself. You won't find the term human in the Bible at all. You won't find the word human in the Bible. And let me show you why. Now, when you look in Ballantine's Law Dictionary, the 1930 edition, and you look up the word human being, it tells you to see monster. Okay? So now, when you look up the definition of monster right here, you see that monster, a human being by birth, but in some part resembling a lower animal. A monster hath no inheritable blood and cannot be heir to any land. Man. I hadn't seen that before, but I've been talking about that all the time. These Europeans can never be heir to any particular land. The Europeans are ones that don't refer to themselves as being indigenous to anything. All right? So go do your own research. I've covered that. I'm not uh, I'm just telling you matters of fact. I didn't write this stuff. I'm just reading it. I'm just showing you where it is. And I want you to go and look at it for yourself, even though I've, I've looked it up here for you. I want you to make sure that I'm not part of some conspiracy to uh, tell you the truth for a change. There's no conspiracy. This is all from our creator. You must know the truth. You shall know the truth, and this truth is going to make you free.